Yes, sir. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Check it out, man. I was checking out these videos, and I've been looking around, and people, like, this weekend, I had an abysmal shooting weekend. I shot my worst that I've ever shot in Pro-Am or anything. I think I shot around 50% from three, and, and just overall, like 60, 60, I shot like 60, 70% overall, but I shot like 50% from three. That is my worst, by far, my worst shooting performance ever. And I'm gonna show y'all, I'll show y'all show what I'm talking about, man. I think I shoot, I don't even know what I shoot in Pro-Am. Is our team even still here? Hell, I don't know. Oh, I'm not on the team. Well, they've been doing trials and stuff like that, so. Anyway, in Pro-Am, I normally shoot around, um, Shoot around about 55, 56% from three, and then like 60% from the board, just like I do in real, I mean, in, in, in the park and all of it. It's about the same. But anyway, I'm like, yo, I couldn't buy a green to save my life. I mean, in team pro am, regular pro am, it really felt like I hit about four or five greens all weekend. Now I shot a, I shot 50%, so that wasn't bad, but I'm used to shooting a much higher percentage than that. So I was sick. I was just like, I don't know what's going on. I was like, do I need to get rid of Duckworth? Do I need to go design another jump shot? If y'all want me to design y'all guys another jump shot, let me know down in the, in the link, I mean, in the comments. I will design another jump shot, but I couldn't figure it out. And then I looked at something this morning, and it was like, I saw this video from 2K Lab, and it was just talking about why you're missing uh, full, full white bars. Uh, and and let's let see what they got to say. We're just gonna let it get it pop. Smooth it! We have had a lot of people ask us on Twitter why they are missing so many full white bar released. Well, that's why I'm here. I want to know why I'm missing full whites. Like, why am I even getting full whites when I know I release the ball perfectly? Have you ever shot the ball and you release it perfectly? You like green before you even see it. You know that you released it perfectly and you know you have the delay between when it's full white and when it's green. So when it's full white and it's green, you, you know there's a little bit of delay, so you just yell out green, and then it still don't turn green, it's full white, and you looking stupid, right? This is what I'm talking about. That's the stuff that I'm talking about. Anyway, let's go. Users want to know if they should try for an early or late release because it feels like these shots go in more. Now, I did tell y'all that um, I said this. This is something that I said in the past. I was like, yo, if it ain't green, or if it, the only shots that appear that seem to go in are green slightly early and slightly late. I mean, that's it. Anything else seems like it never goes in. At least they go in a percentage of the time. Uh, so I was like, if it's slightly early, slightly late, or green, those always seem to go in. Green goes in 100% of the time. Slightly early, slightly late seem to go in at, a, at least at a high percentage. So you to at least every other time. So at least your shooting percentage will be decent if you can shoot greens and slightly early and slightly late, right? So anyway, that that that, that confirms what a lot of people are thinking. But let's just see what they got to say. The answer is without a doubt no. To explain why you are missing so many full white bar releases, you first have to understand that not every perfect release will result in a green. Green per That is the most asinine thing I've ever heard. Not every perfect release, release will result in a green. What? Then what are we doing here? I, I'm going to get to that at the end of the video. But they say something key. They have a modded controller over there. They can they can absolutely force it to release at the middle, at the apex of the green window. So they, so they have a way of doing it. They got this thing that they, do, they, they, they define the green window. And the way that they say they do it, they say they start at 500 milliseconds and then they go down until they get one green. When they get a green, they drop it by one millisecond until the point where they, where they haven't gotten a green in 10 shots, right? So then that defines what the green window is. So let's say if it's 500 milliseconds, they start at 500 milliseconds, the green window might be at like, like uh, 480 milliseconds, right? That's where, that's where it will start. That's the latest you can release it and get a green, right? And then they will go down one until they get to like, let's say if it's four, 460 milliseconds, right? So 460 milliseconds, if you hit it before 460 milliseconds, you won't get a green. If you hit it after 480 milliseconds, you won't get a green, right? So you have this window. The beginning is four. Uh, the beginning is 460 milliseconds. The end is 480 milliseconds. If you hit it anywhere in between, so if you hit 465 for, uh, or 479, 475, it's gonna be green. It should be green. This is the green window, right? So at the apex of the green window, we would think that if they aim for 470 every single time, 
every single time without equivocation if they aim for 470 which is going to be the middle of the green window which is the apex right they should get a green every time because they're aiming for the middle of the green window and they're saying that this is not happening with their controller they have a modded controller catch the ball and every time they release it and it should be green it's not happening so that's why that's where they get the data from that every perfect release will not result in a green but let's continue percentage is one of our three main stats tracked on the jump shot page for this exact reason for example a wide open corner three with no badges in play could hypothetically have a perfect release timing of 500 milliseconds if you were to hit this timing exactly there is roughly a 50 percent chance that the shot will result in a green this is what i'm talking about how the hell can you hit something perfect and it only goes in at 50 percent what that makes absolutely no sense. So let's let's do this right here. I don't I don't want to go here. I, I want to go. Let's go back to the uh, y'all. Hold on one second. We're gonna go down here. Boom. Uh, bam. Is it here? It's gotta be. Where's my display? Display capture. Where my monitors are captured? Being miles ahead of that. What's going on? Oh, this is it. Okay. So check it out. This is what I was trying to show you guys. Right here is the green window, right? So they're saying that, and this this is not what I was saying, but this is so if the if the latest you can release it is 520 milliseconds and still get a green, and the earliest you can release it is 480 milliseconds and get a green. So this is 500 milliseconds right here, right? This means that if they release it at 500 milliseconds, then they should be able to get a green every single time and that does not happen if you release it at 500 milliseconds you're very likely to not get a green you're likely to get a white you're all uh -oh. let's say it this way you're just as likely to get a green as you are to get a white because it's 50 percent now this is not taking badges or any of that other stuff into account because it actually goes up dramatically i suppose but i'm gonna get to why i don't like this and why this is complete and utter bs in one second let's get back to it time will result in a full white bar now, let's, let's go back go. this means that the other 50 percent of the time a shot released at the perfect time will result in a full white bar these full white bar shots only go in roughly five percent of the time which is why it feels like full whites never go in the flaw with that thinking is it is not fair to separate the green releases from the white releases releasing at the perfect point or 500 milliseconds in this example results in a 55% combined shooting percentage. Compare this to shots released at a slightly early or slightly late timing, which only go in roughly 35% of the time. So we've got what I said earlier, and this is something that I said without even watching the video, because I just know this game. If you release in the slightly early and slightly late area, it appears to go in a lot more of the time. That's why I created jump shots for you guys that would result in and um, the very first jump shot I made, I said, I'm going to aim for green, but I created a jump shot that if I miss the jump shot, it'll give me slightly early or slightly late. So the combined percentage is going to be like what? That's 50, um, 50, 80, let's, let's just say 50, 40, and 40. Uh, 50, 50, 40, 40 is what? Uh, I, ain't got, I ain't got time to, uh, like 130, 130 divided by three. So let's just say uh, 50 plus 40 plus 40 is that, divide that by three. So you got a 43% chance of hitting. If if you're just not able to hit greens at all, if you can cock the jump shot like that, and as everything goes up, obviously it will, it, will, it, will, it will go higher. But at least you felt like you had more control over the jump shot. And actually you might get two or three greens in a row and then hit one slightly early, slightly late, and those still go in. And that still gives you a pretty high rate of a, of a jump shot. But anyway, let's let them continue. Feels like early releases go in at a much higher rating because you're comparing the 35% white makes to the 5% white makes from a perfect release. When in reality, you should be comparing the 55% combined white and green make percentage from releasing at 500 milliseconds to the 35% white make percentage from an early or late release. Okay, so what they said was a lot of conjecture. And I'm gonna tell you what I mean by 
conjecture. They're saying that people are asking, should I aim for, should I just flat out aim for slightly early or slightly late? And of course, the answer is no, because a green goes in 100% of the time, while a slightly early or slightly late only go in at about 35 to 40% of the time. So what they're saying is, while you should, obviously you should always aim for perfection, but what they're saying is, aiming for slightly early or slightly late, okay, aiming for green, aiming for perfection is aiming for green, right? But if you aim for slightly early or slightly late, you are inevitably, you, you, you're obviously not gonna ever hit a green. Now, I'm not gonna say, I, th I just think what they're saying is, is it's crazy on one on one area because obviously you want to aim for greens every time, right? But greens go in at the highest rate. Slightly early, slightly late go in at a higher rate than full whites. But the only way to aim for a full white is to aim for a green. Nobody's aiming for full white. That's, that, that's where I feel like their logic falls down. Everybody's aiming for green. But like I said, now they 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 seem to have redefined. Um, they seem to have redefined the slightly early, slightly late area to um, to where it's like okay, so that's good. See, that used to be slightly early right there, but now that's good. So you obviously nobody's gonna aim for a good release or a slightly early or slightly late release. We're all aiming for green. I hope nobody's aiming for slightly early or slightly late. The only reason I'm saying that I made my jump shot the way that I did is because if I would get a slightly early or slightly late instead of a green, the ball would still go in. But it just does not make sense that you're shooting a full white bar because the system is actually saying, no, he has hit too many greens so now he must shoot a full white. He's releasing the ball at the exact same point in time, but half of the time, we're gonna give him a full white, period. At this point in time, it really feels like the game is just a game of chance. It's no longer, if, if you do this, if you say that a person can do the same thing the same way in a game and get a different result, that is literally the the definition of a game of chance. That's what we're doing. We're playing, we're gambling. Like that's that's why people are like, yo, I released that right, why wasn't it green? Now, it, obviously that doesn't work in my court in my career because in my court in my career, you can release it the same way over and over and over and it's gonna go in. If I can green it every time in here, most of the time it's gonna be green. You know what I'm saying? But when you play, when you play in competition, it's like there is there are a predefined set of circumstances that are going to dictate how you play. That is BS. How can a game be competitive when there are a predefined set of circumstances that will dictate how I play? There is no other game where like Do y'all understand what I'm trying to tell you how how bad this is for the game? You can do something. How is in chess the the outcome is who's there, right? But if I move a pawn one step forward, it's not gonna go two spaces, right? If I move my pawn forward, or if I move my knight two up, one or two up, you know, in an L shape, whatever. Uh, I, I gotta make it simple for you guys. Um, if I move my knight in an L shape. Regardless of how I move the knight in an L shape, it's going to land on the table. That's like saying, I, uh, chess is a bad, chess, chess is bad. Let's just say that I'm trying to think of something to, that, that you can compare this to. Because there's nothing, this is like, this is like unprecedented. This is nothing for me to really compare it to. It's like saying, I hope y'all get what I'm saying, how frustrating this is. You can do the same thing the same way and get a result, or get a different result with the circumstances being the same. So if I move my knight up in the cross in the L shape, right, he's gonna land on the same spot regardless. It's only it's only two openings that you can do with a knight, right? That's, there's only two openings you can do. This is the clinical equivalent of me moving the knight and he lands on like, the first time I opened up with the knight, two up, one over, he oh, he lands on wherever he lands. 
Okay, the second time I go two up and one over, he lands here. But but the next time I do it, he lands on he lands on the king and his checkmate. Or he just knocks the king off the board and now the game is just over with. You, do you understand what I'm saying? If if the game is random, then the game is the game can't be random, man. It cannot be random and still be competitive. It has to be the same thing. If I release it perfectly, it's a perfect release. A perfect release should not result in anything other than a green. That means that you cannot be an elite shooter unless you're a sharpshooter. You can be an elite shooter and hit shots, but they're gonna even it out sooner or later. So that's why you have so many games where you go five for five and you're like, okay, this jump shot is hidden. And then the next game you come back and you shoot two for seven because they're, they're, they're going to even it out one way or another. It does not make sense that this game does that or that they felt that it was that it was necessary to do it. It's just like when in, in League of Legends, they used to have dodge boots, right? Now, they, now you just have damage reduction boots, but it it reduces the damage by a by a certain amount. The only thing that is random in League that I can really think of just right off the top of my head is crit chance. But you know how much crit chance you have because you know what the maximum amount of crit chance you can get. And I think that I, I, I want to say that was like what 35 percent, 50 percent crit. I don't know what the, I don't know what the max is. I think it's 50 percent crit, 75 percent. You might can get 100 percent. I don't know what you can get now. I think when I left, you, the, the highest you could get was like 55, 60 percent, 75 percent crit. I can't remember what it was, but you got a crit chance, right? Crit chance just means that it was going to apply double the damage, right? They used to have dodge boots where you would shoot somebody and it would apply zero damage. It will never apply zero damage to them because they don't have dodge boots. And they took the dodge boots out of the game because they said that they couldn't have these games decided by the roll of a die. Like, do you realize that the game of a game of chance is like a game like the game of life or, or just like rolling dice? You roll the dice the exact same way and you can get a different result. That is literally the definition of a game of chance. It's like, like what are we doing when you're trying to artificially hold down people's shooting ability or whatever. Like a person cannot be elite. Why don't you just take away the badges? Take those away. Just let people play raw then. If you good, you'll be good. If you're not good, you won't be good. Like I don't understand why we get this stuff. And then the badges only boost the percentage chance that you can have. So obviously the best shooters in the game are gonna be sharpshooters or statistically should be sharpshooters, but I'm not even a real sharpshooter because I have like, like somebody else can release the ball at the exact perfect spot at the exact same way that I release mine and they won't get a green. That is horse, horse pucky or whatever y'all want to call it. That's just ridiculous that, that we can do the same thing the same way and, and they can hit their green window, but the ball just won't go in. That's why certain jump shots don't work for you guys. It's not because the jump shot isn't good. It's because your stats aren't good enough to support the outcome that the jump shot dictates. That's crazy. If you can time the jump shot, you can time the jump shot. Now, if your shooting rating is below a certain level, I don't think that you shouldn't, I just think you shouldn't be able to get a green. If you got a 33, you just should not be able to get a green. I don't care if you time it right or not. But if you have a high enough shooter rating, and we, I think we all agree that the, the point where you can control it should be like 70% or something. If I got a 73 and I can control a 70 overall three and I can control it, then why shouldn't it go in? If I have a 30 overall three, that means you're not meant to shoot threes. So you shouldn't be able to green it. The only thing you should be able to hit is a slightly early or slightly late. You know, that's just how I feel about it, man. I don't know how y'all feel about it, but I would never shoot a three with a guy with a bad shot percentage to even find out. So I would never know that. But anyway, man, like I said, this is, this is just crazy right here. I can't, I, I don't understand why 2K would do something like this. And like, we got the proof right there that like I said, obviously nobody's aiming or slightly early or slightly late, we're all aiming for perfection. But last year, 2K15, 2K16, it was left up to us. If you were an elite shooter, you were an elite shooter because you were an elite shooter. You had people that had balanced players that could keep that could that could hit threes. 
You had people with our, well, I don't know if anybody with inside players can hit threes cons consistently, but I'm just saying, it's just ridiculous that we that we are now completely leaving the, the ability to make shots up to the archetype. That's why with my other guy, with my um, with my playmaking sharpshooter, until his ability gets over seventy, I, I won't be able to hit. I I can I can green threes with a seventy overall three, but I can't make a mid range because it's sixty eight, and that's okay with me because I feel like I shouldn't be able to consistently make a a, a mid range until I, I feel like I shouldn't even be able to green it until it hits until it hits seventy, but at the same time, with the with my seventy overall three, that's why I can hit them two or three times one game and I'm releasing it absolutely perfectly, or, or with my sharpshooter, my big sharpshooter, I can release it absolutely perfectly in um in Pro-Am over and over, but there's just, they've just said, hey, you've been hitting too much with this. We gotta keep your percentages down. That's crazy. I guess that's why when you change your jump shot or when you reset your jump shot, it resets all those stats and it's no longer trying to even it out. And if you need to know how to do that, you know, T-Miz will tell you how to do that. Link will be down in the description. But anyway, man, I don't know. Y'all just let me know, how competitive can a game be when it's a game of chance? Like, this this is literally a game of chance. It's like you can't be an elite shooter unless you're a sharp shooter, and that's just because they have a predefined set of circumstances. Like, when they said in the beginning of the year, you will, you will, shoot, um, you will shoot about, you know, 45 to 50% with good releases, we were like, we're gonna blow that out of the water because we're gonna get greens, right? But then they changed it to where at the beginning of the game, I was, I was, I probably was one of the best shooters in 2K. I felt like I was the best shooter in 2K while everybody else was crying. I had no badges, I had nothing. I'm hitting it like 65, 70% from three, no BS. I was hitting when everybody else couldn't. Then when everybody else started getting badges, then they got good at it. And then, you know, they, then they start being able to hit shots. Okay, that was fine. But after the patch, it has completely neutralized me and evened me out. Like, I cannot shoot above about, um, I think I was shooting around about 60%. I can't shoot over like 55% from three. I cannot do it. It's like it literally evens it out to where I'm releasing the ball at the exact same time and it just gives me good release after good release after good release to the point where I thought that it was something that I was doing wrong. But with what 2K Labs is saying, no, nah, you're doing everything right. It's just the game evening itself out because you already hit too many with Duckworth. That's just BS, man. If I can hit the shot, I should have been able to hit the shot. Hey, if you if you got below a 60% and you like Steph for last year, you can hit the shot. You should be able to hit the shot. It is what it is. He didn't green all of them, but he hit a bunch of them. But anyway, man, I done ran it too long about this. is another 20-minute video, 22-minute video. I just wanted to show y'all that about 2K Lab. I'm going to leave a link to, this, to the video and their page in the description. You guys go check that out. Check out the premium service where they tell you what the best jump shots are with the best um, green percentages or whatever. And uh, we're going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. Hey, it's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! But y'all tell me, how do y'all feel about this? I think it's BS. You shouldn't dictate what another person can do. Like they are literally giving you an archetype and then they're dictating what you can and cannot do. Like they, I know they do that, but you can't dictate it with percentages, man. Like how can somebody be elite or how can we say somebody is actually good when we know that this is the case right here? It has, it literally has nothing to do with skill. They are artificially holding your stats down artificial difficulty is one thing i absolutely abhor in this world you sh they should never ever ever do art you know do something through artificial difficulty that that's just bad it's just like when they make the computer when they when they turn down your ball handling rating and let the computer steal the ball from you when they want the computer to not get blown out or they start double teaming you and, and it's not realistic. That All those things are artificial difficulty. This is artificial difficulty to me. But anyway, man, I'm gone. I'm going to holler at y'all next time. I'm gone. Peace.